This video is about a better way to deliver digital deliverables in AutoCAD Civil 3D. We call that Intelligent Publish On Demand. First we're going to take a quick look and see the results of what that means. We're going to hop briefly into AutoCAD and take a look at pure AutoCAD output that's editable, usable inside AutoCAD, coordinate systems, it employs X-reference technology which most AutoCAD users are completely help ready for. It's effectively GIS ready deliverables. It is a plan set including plan and profile and pages and sections in AutoCAD. And then we'll take a real brief tour over in MicroStation V8 and see that the same process delivers editable raw DGN output with all the same and everything maintained and there are indeed a couple of minor tweaks to a default microstation configuration which we'll discuss real briefly. Then we'll come back and how is this review the basics of how this is done in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So we're on a plan and profile sheet. Uh, as you can see uh, down in my layout tabs, uh, which I have displayed, there's lots of output all produced here. Three page sheets and pages and pages of sections. So there are three plan and profiles produced here with all the sections from this entire roadway project. Let's zoom in real close here and take a look at how things are basically appear here. Uh, you'll notice some real interesting stuff that the labels that appear the way the plan and profile is labeled in plan is all driven related to the alignment associated view frames from that alignment. So the labeling is actually related to the alignment. It's a key part of the process. You'll also notice that we have symbols, surface, all the typical survey type output. Uh, if you don't like the way it's labeled, obviously that's something that can be easily changed um, by style in Civil 3D. Stuff is all sorted produced for multiple pages of sections. Let's just hop to another sheet. We can see that. If we hop over to the model sheet, we'll see that everything is in a rotated. All uh, the sheets are produced uh, from view frames around our key alignment and all the labeling is clearly uh, based on the view frames uh, in the output from AutoCAD. Uh, all the output, these are real AutoCAD things now, right? And you'll notice also that they're all on external references. And uh, let's go to View, go to Palettes, uh, there's my in AutoCAD. Here are the X references that sit behind this view drawing. And you'll see that there are actually four references contours of the surface are in one model, the labels in uh, another model, the symbols in yet another model, the sections produced from the plan and profile sheets in another, and the figures in yet another model. This allows us by separating the model to control what the deliverable ends up like in AutoCAD, in regular old AutoCAD. So for example, if we want all the figures to be flattened and in be 2D and not three-dimensional, uh, we can accomplish that task in figures. All of this was produced straight out of AutoCAD Civil 3D, all the styles, the way the labels are, all that stuff handled by the production solution product. Going to hop over to MicroStation and I'm in a DGN file <laughs> which maintains exactly uh, the same relationship. So uh, over here if we take a look at show the hierarchy here of our sheet. Uh, you'll see once again we have the same exact four models now they're all just converted DGN. 
if we pan around we'll see we've maintained all the labels they're all real micro station labels they came over clean all the layers came over and one of the comments that people say is well is it AutoCAD or MicroStation colors yes in fact my MicroStation is cur currently running the AutoCAD table AutoCAD color table not the MicroStation table we could have made the spreadsheet that does the conversion if you wanted to but this actually works better and works cleanly you get clean editable MicroStation output in the same way that we got it out of AutoCAD all that's pretty amazing if we hop over to a sheet the sheets are all maintained and if we zoom pan around here we end up with exactly the same output in both applications easy to validate easy to update since they're separated the features are fairly easily and cleanly separated you'll notice everything turns out fine when i print a pdf or print to a plotter i get the same exact result including the screening and hat and screening etc that we get over in autocad so that's a fairly nice digital deliverable reduced down out of autocad civil 3d inside of AutoCAD Civil 3D there is no magic button it doesn't exist to do it and my guess is that it could never quite be possible though AutoCAD Autodesk continues to improve the output twos uh, the process is a learnable skill the skills are all Civil 3D and it is a managed process and another word for that might be a workflow which is the classic thing that's we're done. We've employed basic AutoCAD Civil 3D tools and Civil 3D features. Those are the things that show up in the tool space. So things like alignments and points and point groups and all that sort of thing to produce the output. It employs a repeatable plan that's simply executed. So you get your model to a certain state repeat the plan execute the plan and you'll get the same result the results apply to both survey our survey data um, produced and to design uh, to be clear back over in AutoCAD everything we see on the screen and let's just go to one of our sheets again everything that we see on the screen here is actually labeled and produced and symbolized from a single survey DB so all the labels are generated as point data from the survey DB that allows us to maintain update and keep all the stuff together some of the symbols that we see in the plan for instance the stop marks uh, were not actually collected in the field and are simply added as symbols and perhaps labels uh, into the survey db from the single point file that this was produced from so that includes all the labels all the documentation for manhole systems etc were all produced out of a single survey db and a couple of networks in it the rocket science is confined to a knowable and understandable thing and one place where you can go back and check and fix things the key issues one i just brought up was that the survey db handles most of the common annotation uh, there's lots that we can do with point data whether you actually express as a as point data or as tables of point data with symbols and all kinds of other things uh, just provides a common ground for all the annotation so we don't have to have AutoCAD labels civil 3d labels mixed together uh, which can at times be problematic particularly if you have to go out to other applications everything is as I said managed it's separated as we saw in the multiple output drawings uh, from reference civil 3d features and then carefully dealt with to produce the output it indeed uses the plan and production tools in civil 3d and outputs to a sheet set which you can publish either out of civil 3d or employ 
uh, in an AutoCAD vein or in another application as we saw. And I want to be clear that all this process relies on the design control manager in Civil 3D which is the alignment. As things get more complicated, large subdivision plans with lots of related alignments, then you're going to get a little more sophisticated and employ intersections, which really are the manager of design control managers in Civil 3D. We won't cover that in the other videos that go over this process that follow. But you should understand if you have lots of alignments that are related together, the way you handle that all the way in a, from up front is to establish where the intersections are, um, whether those are actually permanent in terms of does our alignment have to be the actual design alignment or the actual survey alignment? Obviously not. So we can run our output based on one set of alignments while the design stuff underneath changes. So recognize that we're employing alignments here as a method of annotation, not as something directly connected to the exact roadway alignment uh, in the process. So that's an important concept to get through your head. Oh, we're using the alignment and the survey database together as two separate things, but they are not necessarily related to what the final design is or even what the existing conditions are other than the fact that it drives the annotation.